everybody, it's Belinda from Chateau Marai here. So I thought you might be interested, I've just come back from shopping. Um, I've actually not been out for six weeks, so I went a bit mad. Um, and look what I got. So, um, in... How, how much was that? That was a euro. One euro. That was for one euro, that. that whole box. So in France, there's an amazing scheme that certainly one of the supermarkets that I go to quite regularly um, does and that is it's called gaspillage gaspillage means waste in, in French and basically they, they're not allowed to throw away food that maybe is past its date and they just sell it by the box load for a euro you can't dig around you can't really see what's in it before you buy it so I haven't really looked in here yet so I'm just going to have a have a, a look through and see what I've got and see what I can do with it so I've got I've got two two boxes of slightly soggy mash that's a sort of lettuce which may or may not be very useful uh i've got two my goodness i've got three oh god look three three bunches of radishes um oh my goodness a box of french strawberries these are two euro fifty or more at the moment i think um, just for that a box of grapes um a kiwi a bit squashed um two Two boxes of salad, bag of onions, fantastic. I won't go to waste. Banana, that's for you, Lee. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> and two, two wobbly cucumbers. They're for you, I take it, Belinda. Thank you very much. <laughs> 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 and these, now look, these peppers are um, slightly squashed, but they are two euros a pack at the moment. So that is four euros worth just there. Sorry, Belinda, can you just, how much did you pay for all this? One euro. Um, Bloody hell. Another kiwi, they're about 45 cents, 50 cents each, centimes. Wow. And one, two, three lettuces. Ta -da! Yay! So I can't believe what I've got here for a euro. So literally four boxes of salad, three massive lettuces, which are perfectly good. I've got five usable peppers i've got three bunches of good radishes a box of grapes with hardly any that are bad at all okay the kiwi maybe not the strawberries look oh, some of them are, are, are recoverable two cucumbers bag of onions banana so i'm gonna need to do something with this lot fairly soon i've already got some ideas um certainly the peppers i'll know what to do with uh, the onions, so what, Sorry, what are you going to do well, with Well, the peppers, I just thought I could do, I could either make some stuffed peppers, that, that's a lovely dish, with rice and some minced meat. Oh, minced I like meat. that, yeah, yeah, with some chilli in there as well. Yeah, I could do that, or I could make some vegetarian stuffed peppers uh, with couscous. And no, some... you need meat. All right, meat for you, you need but meat. other people, not everyone needs meat. Um, the radishes, do you know what I'm going to do with those? You know those uh, slightly lightly pickled radishes I do? that are sliced up in jars. Oh yeah, yeah. I think I'll do that. Oh, and they I've... go really well in burgers, don't yeah, they? Yeah, and I think I can do something with the cucumbers like that as well. Um, so the, the lettuce, I think some of this salad's edible as a salad. There's an awful lot of lettuce here, Lee, but I think I know a way of using it up. So the, the salad that we can't eat, and there's only the two of us at the moment, remember, um, I can make into soup. So I can make a lovely soup with onion, potato, and I've got lots of potatoes. Oh, I and, like your potato soup, it's really and nice. Lettuce, and some lettuce. Yeah. And it makes like a lovely, like a spinach type of soup, which is delicious and I can freeze that. So I'm not gonna waste any of this, fantastic. Well done, Belinda. Hi, it's Belinda from Chateau the High. So you might remember yesterday I came home with a big box of goodies. So that big box of goodies. Um, and I got an awful lot for a euro. Basically, I've not been out shopping for six weeks and uh, went, to, um, went to my local supermarket and was very fortunate in that I actually managed to grab what they call a gaspillage box for a euro, so basically um, the supermarkets in France do not throw away food that's just gone out of date. Um, they'll either give it away, or in this case, they'll sell it to customers for a euro. You don't get to choose, you just have to take a box and you pay a euro. And 
boy, did I get a lot for a euro yesterday. Um, and in fact, I added up how much it would have cost me to buy that. And it would have cost me 25 euro. So how much? 25. That's Lee, by the way, on the, on the film. So you've saved 24 euro. 20, yeah, that would have cost 25 euro. But wasn't there any wasted in that? So basically, what I had, to, I had to throw away, there were four boxes of lettuce. And I think if I'd have used them yesterday, they would have been okay. But by this morning, they, they weren't good enough. So I threw those away. One kiwi, one pepper, um, half a cucumber and a few strawberries. And so you're used still 20 euros up? Everything else, Whatever, yeah, 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 yeah. Everything else. That's really good. Amazing. So the first thing I did yesterday was use up the strawberries. In fact, I'd actually bought another punnet of strawberries as well. So I put them all together and I made some lovely strawberry jam. So I'm, I'm, I've got two jars of jam and, uh, and look, I even crocheted them some little, little hats last night. <laughs> pink hats to match the pink jam. Belinda, um, I've got to say that's very sad. Yeah, okay. Um, Lee loves strawberry jam, don't you, Lee? I do, I love yes, it on my toast his, in the morning. One of his favourites, okay. And so the other things that I have done already, let me show you, let me show you. So I've made these lovely stuffed peppers. Do you remember I had, there were six peppers, I had to throw one away. So in there, let me get you put that camera in there. Look at those beauties. So I stuffed those with um, some rice and, um, so it was a sachet of rice, literally. Uh, one portion of bolognese I had in the freezer. I mixed them up together with some herbs, a bit of grated cheese. Um, I par parboiled the peppers, I've stuffed them, put some more cheese on top, put their lids on, and I'm gonna slow cook those and that will make a lovely dinner. What was that other smell that was coming out of the kitchen this morning? Mm -hmm. Smelled like pickled something or other. Oh, and I made the pickled cucumbers. So oh, the, right, okay. Yeah, so there were one and a half. Um, well, let's have a look at those. One yeah. and a half cucumbers. I never saw those, let's have a look. That's the one and a half. Oh my goodness. And look what I did. I've made some pickled cucumbers. <laughs> I've never made them before. They go great on, on hamburgers. Sandwiches, yeah, lovely sandwiches. Yeah, I really like that. And I've sterilised the jars as well and heated up the vinegar mixture. So that should keep for quite a while because they're in a sterile solution, a sterile environment in that jar. Blimey, what time did you get up this yeah, morning? Yeah, I'm really, really say, hard to, actually, I'm really I tired. I must have snored all the way through it. I didn't, didn't hear you get up. Oh. Just wondered where you was when I woke up. <laughs> I also used up a vast amount of lettuce. Lee actually had some for lunch. So this is all still nice, young, good lettuce. I've not turned that into soup. That's very edible. Um, and Lee did have a nice salad, didn't you, for yep, lunch I did. today? Yeah, I did, absolutely. And the um, But with the rest of the lettuce that I didn't throw away, I've made a really lovely lettuce soup. And I put some dried dill in it. I'm gonna serve up a portion so you can see how lovely, actually this could do a little bit of watering down, maybe, but you could serve this. I'm just going to give it a little bit of a decoration. Um, I put some parsley on top. I've got these amazing herb scissors. I've, I've not seen these in the UK. Um, I've got two or three pairs over here because I think they're fantastic. You can really, you just literally cut the herbs with scissors and it, it just shreds them. There we go. Da, da, da. Now how's that for no waste soup? We have three bunches of radishes. Um, I've just I've cleaned them all up, scrubbed them, and taken all the green tops off. You could, if the green tops are fresh from radishes, again, you could use them to make a soup uh, like I've done here, but they, they were they were manky, so I've got rid of the tops, but the radishes are absolutely perfectly fine. Um, so what I'm going to do today with these, I'm going to, again, I'm going to pickle them, because I think that's the best thing I can do with all of these radishes, because I know that they'll keep then. Now, I've made pickled radishes before, um, but today I'm actually going to try out the recipe that I've used before, but I'm going to try out another one as well and make a comparison. Um, so I'm just going to get these jars, I'm going to sterilise these jars. So I'm going to put those in a hot oven, which is behind Lee. I've put the jars in the oven to sterilise and I've put the lids in a pan of boiling water on the hob um, to sterilise those as well. Um, it makes a big difference sterilising, it really, really does. It means you can keep things for a lot longer. Um, actually, I've just reminded myself that I've got um, 
just want to show you this, which is so apt. So this is my grandmother's. Um, and if you can see there, it says waste not, which I think is very apt for today's little demonstration. And, oh, and also I've got this um, penny on here, which actually has a picture of the Chateau Marais on it at night. And this was a gift. So um, Lee's mother gave us one each for Christmas and she had them printed, which I think is a very nice gift. Uh, no surprises. I haven't had a chance to use my no. cooking apron yet. <laughs> uh, but it's any year soon, I probably will. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to start slicing up some radishes. There is an awful lot here. <laughs> so I've just taken the sterilised jars out of the oven, and these are the sterilised lids. So I'm just going to do this um, one recipe first. This is one I've done before, so I, I know the results of this one. Um, but to be fair, I've made it as a cold, cold dish and then I, I put it into a cold unsterilised jar and it was fine actually for ages, but this time I'm using a sterilised one. So basically I've just got a couple of hundred grams of the sliced radishes there and this is really, really easy. So I'm just going to um, pop on three tablespoons of white wine vinegar. One. Two, three, and two tablespoons of sugar, and one teaspoon of salt. You could, if you wanted to, you could make this in a um, whisky in a jug or a jar beforehand, but to be honest, it doesn't make that much difference. I'm just doing it straight onto the radishes. One. So you can see the preserving that's going on here. You've got the vinegar, you've got the sugar, and you've got salt as well, which are all preservatives. Sorry, wasn't that salt you just put on there? No, that... that was sugar. Oh, okay. They're quite sweet, actually. There we are, and just one teaspoon of salt. So I'm just going to give those a bit of a... So that's all nicely mixed up now. So I'm just going to pop these into the sterilised jar. This is quite a handy little um, ladle here. I use it for jam. It's got a little shoot on the end of it, which makes shooting the contents much easier into the jar. If I'm making jam, I've actually, oh, I use this. I bought this to show you as well. So that's a really, in fact, I might use it now because then you can just pour it all in. Look at that, so much easier. You don't get any sticky mess around the edge of the jar, I think. That's as many as going to put in there. Sorry, excuse my ignorance, Belinda, but mm. where would you use pickled radishes? So, these are... I don't are, think I've ever had them before. You have, you have. Have um, I? Yeah, I made these quite a lot last year, actually. I've forgotten already. So I made them quite a lot. There was a very a recipe I used to, used to, I hope I do it again. I made for guests a lot, which was a smoked salmon pate. Oh yeah, and, I don't remember that. And typically I was making these pickled radishes and also some little pickled cucumber as well. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to pop the lid on, but I'm going to be really careful since I've taken such pains to sterilize the lid. I'm just going to take it out of the boiling water and keep it really, really clean. I'm just going to dry it with this, just this clean piece of kitchen towel. This is what I do anyway. Don't, so I don't want to touch the inside with my fingers at all because that will take the sterility off. And just pop it on. This is hot. I think given these times of lockdown, everyone's really sort of super careful now about sterilization absolutely. and not touching stuff. Quite right, yeah, absolutely. Well, I always am anyway. Yeah. Okay, so actually, you, you could, if you wanted to, you could, you could double that amount of pickling liquid. I, to be honest, I think that's going to be enough. Let's have a look at that. For the time being. Oh, You'll actually, find they'll stay really nice It looks nice really like good, actually. Okay. Thinking of, is that still hot? No, it's not. It's, it's not as hot as it was. Stick a, <laughs> stick a label on it then. Stick a label on it. Okay, pickled radishes, there we are. Here's a label we made earlier. Here's one I made earlier. <laughs> In true Blue Peter style. 
Blue Peter. <laughs> I'm too young to remember Blue <laughs> Peter. How dare you? Get down, <laughs> Chef. Get down. <laughs> So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to try another recipe for pickled radishes that I've not made before. And this is one where you heat the vinegar and sugar and salt with some water and bring it to the boil. So I haven't, I haven't used this method before. I've got so many, I just wanted to try something different really. So I'm going to start measuring the ingredients into this pan. So I'm doing four times this recipe. So I actually need two cups of white vinegar. I'm going to use this is a tarragon vinegar that I've had in my store cupboard for a very long time. And I thought now was the time to crack it open. And I thought tarragon actually would be a really nice flavour. Um, talking of cracking things open, what time yeah. is it, Belinda? Um, is it, is it wine o'clock? I don't think it's cracking things open time yet, Lee, sad to say. Right, oh. so I'm going to use two cups of, two cups of vinegar. Of my life. Look, I'm using cups and I know... You know, cups are an American um, uh, cooking cookery measurement, but I've got very used to using them because I follow so many recipes from so many sources, uh, and lots of them use cups, and I've just got cups now. So this is taking ages. Sorry about this. Uh, four teaspoons of salt. This is the last one. I've only put three in. Um, right, there's that one. We've got a cup of water there, um, two cups of sugar. I love these, um, this is the way they, they sell, well, one type of way they sell sugar in France, in these in really handy bags that you just pour it out. Um, very, very clean, you don't waste any sugar, the bags don't break, they're easy to store because they've got lids. Again, this is taking absolutely ages. Um, so we're going to put in some mustard seeds, um, ground black pepper, uh, bay leaves. Now you might see that sprig next to me there on the table. Um, so we've got the biggest bay tree I think I've ever seen in the garden here. So there's never a shortage of bay leaves. So ooh, four bay leaves, one, two, choose nice big ones. Three, four bay leaves. Uh, I've done the salt. Uh, four teaspoons of mustard seeds. That won't go in, that's a nuisance, isn't it? So one, two, three, four. And um, two teaspoons of ground black pepper, which I'm going to have to guess that I'll come back to that in a minute I think uh, chili flakes two teaspoons it says they're optional so I think what I'm going to do is put um because these are hot chili flakes there you go so I'm just going to go and pop this on the hob uh, and bring it to boiling point and then after I've done that I'm going to fetch the jars uh, pack them with the radishes and pour the hot liquid over taken the pickling liquid off the boil it's very very hot uh, these jars are very very hot as well I have washed my hands so you might see me use them to help the radishes into the jars so I'm going to pop the um, sliced radishes into the hot jars I've also um, there's a few little chopped up spring onions in here as well that I thought would add a nice little bit of texture and flavor to this pickle in you go in you go Next one, Let's leave that so you can see a bit better. I think I'm going to have more than three jars worth here. Well, that's you, brilliant. You, you like you, radishes, don't I you? do, yeah. And if you think of all this has come from a one that, euro well, box. But you know what, so you could, I mean, you could give these as gifts, couldn't you? You know, what a nice thing to take. If you're going to someone's, when you're allowed to go to someone's house for a meal or drinks or something. And uh, you Did could, you say drinks then, Belinda? Yes. Is it that time, should we? <laughs> Pop a cork? No, not yet. Not until I've finished all this cooking. Belinda, I've got this mission. Good news. I've got this you're, mission. You're a lady on a mission. To get this finished. So, um... You can feel the fridge door opening under its own strength. <laughs> and a little bottle of something white and fizzy creeping out. So I'm going to start ladling some of this hot uh, vinegary liquid over the radishes. I'm going to use this 
very handy, um, I don't know what you'd call it really, jar. Funnel, I would say. Funnel thing. Steel funnel, a very expensive <laughs> funnel for a the funnel. people at home. I could have made one out of a chip wrapper. Yeah, but it wouldn't have had quite the same effect. I do hope I've got enough of this liquid here. I did quadruple the recipe because I had so many. Look at you slopping it all over the So place many radishes. There, um, oh, they're looking lovely, actually. Oh, let's have a look. Uh, let's get in there and have a look. Oh, really, you've got too many pots and pans in the way. Let's so have a look. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You can see that. Actually, that looks really good with nice? all the liquid going down in there. Ta -da! Oh, yeah. And there's peppers in there as well, isn't there? Absolutely exhausted. <laughs> and do you know what? This is one of the downsides. Whenever, you, whenever I see those boxes at the end of the tills in these supermarkets, I think... Shall I, shan't I, shall I, shan't I? Because I know if I buy one, I've got a day's work ahead of me. But boy, look at this lot. Wasn't it worth it? I paid one euro for a box of food that might have been thrown away. And look what I've made with it. Um, and I can tell you what I've... I haven't added up how much money, but I'll tell you, for example, so the soup, oh, there was... Five small potatoes and a couple of stock cubes, because I already had the onions, if you remember, from, from the um, gaspillage, from the box. Yeah. So the pickled, um, the pickled cucumbers, again, just some vinegar, salt, sugar, some spices, which I already had in my store cupboard. Um, the stuffed peppers, that was one sachet of microwave rice with one portion of bolognese and some herbs and some grated cheese. Um, and the beauty, aren't they beautiful? Look at them. I think they're fabulous. Pickled radishes. Uh, again, vinegar, sugar, salt, spices, bay leaves from the garden, strawberry jam, sugar, 700 grams of sugar, and I had another 500 grams of strawberries. And all of that, one euro. Just to wrap up for today, boy, it's been a very long day for me, I can assure you. Um, this has probably taken me, oh, five or six hours of work to actually get all of this done yesterday and today. I think it's worth it. I hope you've enjoyed, actually, your very first visit to my Chateau Kitchen. And I hope to see you again soon.